Okay, just want to do a little video tutorial of uh, <clears throat> how to change out an accelerator pedal position sensor or app sensor. Um, sometimes you can run into this. Uh, this is an 06 Honda Accord, just a four cylinder. And uh, what I'm having problems with is it's just losing power just losing the acceleration you can pull out onto the highway and it'll just it'll just uh, you know just lose power and you can push the pedal all the way to the floor and it just barely will go but the code on this is a P2138 that's what I'm getting on the code which is saying uh, uh, it's the sensor the pedal sensor I just want to do a Real quick, I couldn't find anybody showing you exactly how to take this thing apart, so it took me a few minutes to figure it out. Um, but I just wanted to show, just in case anybody needs to do this. I've already got it pulled away from the, the frame here, but I'm just going to show you how this was bolted on. So here's the whole sensor here, and you've got this little bracket right here. This is one of the where the bolts go. And this is where the other one. And it sits back in there just like that. And then it's mounted to this side. And then it's also mounted to right here. If I can get my hand out of the way. There's a little hole right behind this bar. So this part of it is gonna bolt right here and these are the these are the bolts these are 10 millimeter bolts you just need you to ratchet with the 10 millimeter and an extension on that so I've already got the the whole sensor pulled out here and I just wanted to show real quick because this is what I, I, I had to figure out because I had nobody showing me here but you've got and I've already got these loose. So once you take those two bolts out, you just kind of wiggle that out from back in behind there, back behind your um, AC lines there. And then you're going to take these two off. Got two bolts there that are holding this plastic cover on. So we're just going to slide that off, set the bolts to the side. Okay, so here's the, the cable coming in right here into the sensor here. And this is held on by two bolts on the bottom. Sorry for the movement there. I'm trying to do this one-handed. But you've got a bolt here and a bolt here. And both of these are uh, 10, milli 10 millimeter bolts as well. So we're going to go ahead and take those off. I'm just going to set this down. Let's see if we can lean it up. Get something. Gonna set this down for a second.
Okay, and then that just slides off, so we're going to set this off to the side for a second. Okay, and what we have left is just the sensor with the cable attached to it. And then what we have here is we have a bolt that we're going to loosen up, and this is going to allow us to pull that cable off. So we're going to do that real quick. I think this is a 12 millimeter. If you have a 12 millimeter open end wrench, that would work. I'm just using a thumb wrench. Loosen that up. Okay, and as we loosen that up, just pull it all the way back. And that allows us to pull the cable right out. And then you have your cable just sitting in like this. And we're just going to slide that right out. There's our new sensor. First thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hook this uh, cable back up. It's just got a little slot for it to slide in. We loop the cable over. And then we're gonna pull it in like this. Let's see, this one actually feels like it's. It's actually a little loose. So gonna pull that back off there. And adjust this one whole round. Let's see if that's a little bit tighter. Good and tight. And then I'm going to go ahead and mount this back on to the frame here.
pass the cover back on. Extension to get this a little bit tighter. Just get that put back in, and our last thing is just to plug the clip back in. Just there, and make sure it's on there good and tight. All right, well, there's the, the new sensor back in place. And hopefully, this is helpful to somebody. Um, just had to learn how to do this my own, so, so appreciate it.